Okay, guys. Uh, <clears throat> here is uh, we had the uh, the meeting today, our uh, mama meeting today, and I finally picked up the uh, Mustang that I was actually hoping to get today, which is the uh, Shelby from uh, um, Historic Racing Miniatures. This is the actual box right here. Again, yeah, 1968 Shelby 350 GT350 uh, is a trans kit for my historic racing miniatures. It's a beautiful, of course, anything that uh, historic makes is beautiful. That's why they're historic. And uh, Harold always has some really neat stuff. And I just wanted to share with you how nice this kit is. Of course, everything is resin. And you need the uh, 67... AMT Shelby to finish it off just a few parts from there is pretty much complete but just letting you know that that's the kit that you need for this I just wanted to go around and sh to show you several parts like you know what comes in the kit what doesn't and I uh, just to have so you guys can have an idea this is definitely my next project I really wanted to start in this one this these are the engine parts right here um, as you can see, the valve covers, look at how nicely detailed those things are. And hopefully I can get close enough so you guys can uh, actually notice everything. I don't know if you can notice that well. I mean, you know, the oil pan, the uh, air filter, intake manifold, the other parts, the carb, the uh, carburetor right there. Uh, the tires and the wheels, everything resin, of course. These are actual, uh, the actual hubcaps that that car rode with when it uh, came out of the factory. Um, if you can see, they're open, so that's that's pretty neat right there. Let me see if I could uh, I get you guys a little bit more near, so you could see it right there. Nice that looks. They're good years polyglass GTs. He also gives you this option here just in case you want to go that route. But that was optional that year, at least for the convertibles. Um, I have these from GMP. These are gorgeous. I might go with these. I might not. I'm still undecided. I'll, I'll see what I, what I have to do with that. Or what I decide to do, you guys will find out because I'm going to constantly get this updated it's a couple of uh, the muffler tips you got the single ones you got the dual ones bumpers the interior parts you notice this is all individual pieces this is really gonna be nice right here so all the um, handles for the you know for the glass and all that stuff those are really nice uh, the seats the uh, dash dash is very nice so detail nicely detail he does beautiful resin work i mean again where you know when it comes to resin work him and norm from replicas they're just incredible incredible they're just an incredible talent uh those are the rear uh, this is for the uh uh the, the rear lights this actually goes around this is, these parts are very fragile so i have to be very careful when i work with them this is the front uh the front part that actually goes right in the front over here. And again, guys, I apologize. It's a little challenging trying to do this thing with the pad on one hand and the uh, open hand on the other side. It's just a little challenging. So hopefully it comes out okay. This is the rear. Of course, th this is the part right here that I just showed you. It's gonna go around the lights in here. So that's gonna be kind of nice. The interior engine bay parts, as you can see, firewall. This is the actual part that goes. Let me, let me take this little look. Look at how nice this fits, guys. I mean, this is this is incredibly nice. Look at the fit on this on this convertible top right here. This is really really nice, guys. I wanted to show you guys all this stuff. See how nice that fits in there. He also has an up top for it. If you prefer to go that way, when you start displaying it, you could take one off and just go ahead and uh, place this one in there. You know, just doing it on top there, just to play around with it. 
uh, buckets for the light, for the front lights, the air scoops on the side. What else? Uh, um, this is the actual rear lights with the glass parts very nicely packed, everything neatly packed and clean. He gives you these acetate sheets also, and I believe this is going to be for the rear of the convertible top there. So that's a nice little touch. Um, gives you a couple of instructions, nothing out of this world, just a couple of things to to let you know about. Uh, let me see if I can open this up for you guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's a couple of things, you know. Couple of instructions here and there, front axle assembly, drive shaft. It says that you have to shorten something there. Uh, you know, as I go, I'll be explaining to you guys everything that has to be done to the car. Uh, again, as I go. And uh, this is the actual body. Look how beautiful this body is made, guys. I still have to scribe those panel lines a little bit deeper, but I always do that to all my models anyway. Uh, this is uh, the actual mufflers. He just put some tape on just to tape them against the uh, the chassis. But this is separate. The chassis is separate, of course. The interior is also separate. This hope the hope uh, interior is also separate. He just again he just taped it. For now, when you get it on the kit, is all taped up. But you know that's all separate parts. Uh, same thing with the hood it's just taped in the inside I have to take out the tape and work with it later if you can see it's open in the front you just got to clean up that resin a little bit only just a little bit of cleaning on the resin uh, it's, it's all you have to do to it it's, it's pretty much cleaned up if you really think about it but you, you know like every resin part you have to clean up a little bit but other than that I mean it's a beautiful kit if you guys are interested in getting getting it, don't don't think twice. I mean, I paid uh, 95 for it, but it's worth every penny. Uh, Harold makes some; he does some really really good work, and a lot of you guys know know his work. So it's nothing new. You guys know that if you pay 95 for it, it's gonna be very worth it. So hopefully you guys get the kit. And I, again, I just wanted to make a little bit of a uh, review on it. Just so you guys can have an idea how it looks. So here it is. Let me just go by the parts again so you could see everything. And hopefully the video comes out just nice for you guys to enjoy. Okay. Thank you guys. And again, I'll keep you updated on the build as I go. And I hope you guys like the video. Thank you guys.